Hi, this is Grandma Lori. Today's story is Oscar Hates Rain. Oscar loved cooking. He would make all kinds of excellent dishes every day. He didn't believe in quick snack food like small mice or lizards. He wanted a meal with a little bit of meat. He was quite the gourmet chef. Oscar was one of the smallest owls around, an elf owl. He was no bigger than a juice box, but he was feisty nonetheless. Oscar always planned his dinner while he was fixing breakfast. What should I have tonight? Oscar wondered. I'm going to eat lunch out today, so I'd like to fix something amazing for dinner. Oscar looked out the window at the gathering storm clouds and said, Well, I guess breakfast time is over. I need to get moving if I'm going to beat the storm. Oscar finished cleaning up and headed out to grab some lunch and pick up dinner. He flew across one field after another. There weren't many other animals out. Maybe they're afraid of a little rain, laughed Oscar to himself. Then he saw it. It was a tiny mouse running across the ground. It started raining. Oscar hated getting wet. He landed right in front of the mouse. The mouse was startled. <gasps> Don't eat me, she cried. I'm not going to eat you. I'm wet and I need to find shelter, said Oscar. The mouse thought for a minute. I'm Mary. There's some mushrooms in the woods that would cover you nicely since you're not too big. Great, can you show me where they are? asked Oscar. I don't know, Mary said, hesitating. I mean, how do I know you won't change your mind and try to eat me? I'm too wet to care about eating right now, said Oscar. Okay, Mary led the way to the big mushroom with a large cap. Thank you so much, Mary. I won't forget your help. Oscar put a wing around Mary and hugged her tightly. Be safe out there, said Mary, turning and waving as she scurried back home. Oscar positioned himself under the mushroom. It really wasn't bad at keeping him dry-ish. Oscar waited and waited. The rain wasn't letting up. He was not looking forward to getting back out into it. Oscar heard a noise and looked up. It was Mary. She was rolling an egg. Here you go, said Mary. Mama found this earlier today and we thought you would like it for your dinner. Oscar was touched. Why, thank you. That's very kind, but I'm not sure I can fly with it. It's almost too big to carry. Besides, I'm thinking of becoming a vegetarian, only eating leaves and stuff. Why? said Mary. How could I eat my friend or one of her relatives? Oscar said, looking lovingly at Mary. Ah, thank you, Oscar, Mary said. My mama can teach you lots of tasty recipes she makes for us at home. Thank you, said Oscar. I'm going to try to fly home now. It was wonderful meeting you. I'll have to join you for a meal sometime soon. Oscar waved a wing as he took flight. Upon arriving home, he wrapped himself in a towel and grabbed a hot, steaming cup of tea. It had been a very weird day. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been Grandma Lori. I hope you enjoyed the story. There's a link in the description box to all the great illustrations. Thank you.